Hey, and welcome to GeekWire. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to download the Windows 11 ISO file. Before we get started, you wanna make sure that you meet all the system requirements so you have no issues running it when you're ready to get started. So let's take a quick look at that. So the first thing you wanna make sure is that your CPU or processor has at least two cores of one gigahertz or faster. You wanna make sure you have at least four gigs of RAM. Storage space, you need at least 64 gigs of hard disk space or more. A trusted platform module or TPM version two or greater a DirectX 12 capable GPU, and you wanna make sure that your system firmware is UEFI or securely bootable. If you meet all those system requirements, you can go ahead and download this ISO. It should run smoothly for you, and I'll show you how to do that right now. Here we are at the desktop of Windows 10. It's a fresh installation, and as you can see in the menu, all the bloatware and everything is there, and I haven't activated it. You get a little activation windows on the right-hand corner that doesn't matter because we're gonna be downloading the new Windows 11. So I'm gonna open up my browser and inside the address bar at the top, you're gonna to put in this address and I'll make sure I put it in the description below so you can do it directly. So we're getting to the Windows 11 official download page and this is it right here. If you scroll down a bit, you can see that there is three options here. The first one is to use the installation assistant. The second one is to use the installation media and the third one is to download the ISO, and that's what we're gonna be doing in this example. We'll just be selecting Windows 11 in the dropdown list. Before you start, you can just take a quick scan of all the requirements in here. These are the same requirements that I had put at the beginning of the video. They just wanna validate and make sure that when you install this, it's gonna work properly on your system. So once you've looked at everything and you're good to go, you can click on the download button below. So some privacy options just appeared here. And below, we're going to be selecting the product language. So in the drop down list, you can use the language of your choice. In this example, I'm just going to be selecting English. And then you click on confirm below. So the download link has now appeared. You can see it right there, uh, the 64 bit download. This link will be valid for 24 hours. Uh, once you complete it, you can verify the download by using PowerShell and checking out the hash. That's just to confirm that you are getting the official version from the source. So we'll just scroll up above and this is where the download link is. I'm just going to click on it and it's going to download the file. Now this is not a small file. This is over five gigs, 5.1 to be exact. It might take some time depending on your internet connection. I have a decent one, but for a lot of people, this will take some time to download onto your computer. So uh, you can just let it set and download. It'll save in your default folder. For me, it's my downloads folder. And once it's complete, you can go ahead and put it on a USB or burn it on a DVD and install it on a fresh system. So if you haven't done that before and you wanna put it on a USB, I'll link how to do that in the description below and also show this video at the end uh, where you can walk through the steps to make a bootable USB and install Windows 11 on your PC. So that's all there is to it. That's how you download the ISO file for Windows 11. I hope that was quick and easy. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. If you're looking for any other tips and tricks related to Windows, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.